So we have a broken bolt or stud down there. It goes through a coolant passage. So I'm gonna use something new to try and extract it. We're gonna use this snap-on tool. It's like a bolt extraction thing. This is it right here. You, what you do is you take and you screw this on there. So, so it has threads on the inside. So you take and you screw it on there. What a bottle. Then I'll grab my wrenches and tighten it up and then turn this in and extract it out. So we've taken our two wrenches and tightened the unit together. Now let's try to turn it out. Let's see what happens. Probably got enough clearance to get a socket and ratchet in here. So I might do that. I don't think it's coming. It's just turning on the screw. So pause for a second. So we went in, so we went ahead and got a ratchet on here. And I think it's turning out. So it feels like it's coming loose. So I'm gonna switch to a battery ratchet. So let us see now. Still pretty tight in there. So, I believe we are free spinning. That's what I was trying to avoid. I didn't want to get the ratchet stuck up on here in here. I think it's just some old sealant that's holding it up. Let me grab something else. So I'm just trying to break that sealant that's on there so I can get it out. So it was able to get it loose. You can see it came out. So, um, once again, let's take a look at the tool. It's a full set, the MSK-10. I'm not saying that you couldn't have did it without it, but I think it made it a little bit easier for me. So remember, check that out from Snap-on Tools.